Hi everyone and happy Monday! Now we have a toucan page here um, from the Johanna Basford Weekly Planner to do. Now this page has already been in a planner so um, a couple of years ago I did this page before so I do have those videos available if you want to take a look and I did have a very quick look at what I did because I wanted to make sure that this one wasn't going to be too similar and so the toucan I did before was quite colourful in pinks and greens and blues. This one is going to be very different, I think. You know, it makes sense, doesn't it? So I thought I would do him with quite a lot of black. Um, toucans can often be black, but we'll mix a few colours together. I've got my Castle Arts Gold pencils to use today. Um, now, if you don't have the Castle Arts Gold, um, you can obviously use equivalent colours in different sets. Um, I don't think I have very many comparison swap sheets, if any, but if you do want a comparison of these to another set, um, let me know. I've got the 72 set of gold. So I'm going to start with the Terra Verde Deep because what I wanted, my thoughts were to do a, um, a sort of green to black, so it looks a little bit um, almost teal to black. So actually I think, I think I'm going to start with the black actually just sharpen my black so I'm thinking if I do the base of the feather in black and then the tip in the sort of teal color with terra verde deep is my sort of nearest so here's my black and I'm going to do we're going to start just here should I come in a bit closer it's coming closer to his body I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this bit yet but I'm just going to start with these feathers here so here's my black and I'm going to put down quite a deep layer here and then just sort of reduce it and taper it off towards the tip of the feather like that and do the same on each one now I find the um, these castle arts golds are quite it's interesting I don't know what they're supposed to be they're supposed to be a higher quality pencil compared to the soft touch for me the wood is better quality but the leads um, cores whatever you call them are just different um they feel harder i can hear the sort of scratchiness of them on the paper um the color range is i feel a little strange in the 72 set having not got the 120 i don't know but um i do find though that um sometimes they have colors which I don't have like the um, Terra Verde Deep is like a very dark teal type colour you'll see in a minute when we get there I'm just going to do the black part of all of these feathers first and that colour I don't really have anywhere else maybe in my Arteza's something like that so that's interesting there is a Terra Verde Deep colour in the um, soft touch set but it doesn't seem to be the same colour what is a little odd is the colours do, don't seem to be consistent but maybe it's just me and my eye. Maybe I haven't actually laid them down side by side, so maybe they are. And I'm just imagining it or something. Sorry, I don't know where my voice has gone. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. But anyway, um, so uh, they just seem a little bit different. But that's okay. I mean, you don't want them to be too much the same. Um, they are more expensive. Um, I can't say as I think they're worth more money they're easier to sharpen because as I say the wood is better quality so it doesn't splinter when you sharpen them which is quite nice but um, apart from that it's like a big bang I don't know what that was my husband's gone to work my one son's still in bed I don't think it's him so here's our Terra Verde Deep we do have a Terra Verde, which is a slightly lighter colour. I'm just going to go over all of it. Um, but, um, it, oh my goodness, it's bitty. Um, but um, I think this will work. It's really um, breaking up. It's because I sharpened it and the lead split a bit in the sharpener. But hopefully it will give that sort of blackish shinyish feather look that's what I'm sort of looking for really see how it turns out 
because I didn't want him to just be black. I have done him in all black before, I think, in one version of this picture, because I've finished two copies of Magical Jungle, so I'm pretty sure I've done him black in at least one copy. But um, I just felt that this would be a little bit different. This really is breaking a bit, but it'll be okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's um, five past nine. Husband's gone to work. And son, as I say, I, he's upstairs. I can hear him moving around. He's just got up. Um, other son is doing some work. He gets up a lot earlier. Now, let's see. Hmm. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but to me, it does look a bit like sort of catching the light on the tips and changing colour. Um... This line along here, I think I might just do in the black, sort of really intensely thick to act as a sort of separation. And I'm also going to do these lines as well, just in black, just to, uh, just to sort of, because it looks like that's what Johanna intended. I need to sharpen this a bit sharper. usually sharpen quite well. There we go. Pretty good, isn't it? I don't know why um, the other one was breaking a bit. Sometimes pencils can be a bit temperamental, can't they? Now I haven't decided what I'm doing with any other bit of the page apart from these feathers. So uh, I shall have to make it up as I go along. I don't know how lifelike I want my toucan to look with regards to white face and beak, black beak, that sort of thing. There we go. They're quite crumbly. Now, I'm going to do the wing bits in the same way as I did these feathers. So, a bit of darker and then fade. I like that all the way across. And um, like that. This one is quite narrow. I'm just going to do a little bit there and then a bit at the bottom. Hear the water, the sun brushing his teeth. <sighs> so sunny this morning. I think it's supposed to be quite good weather. I'm dry, I mean, for a while. Yesterday it rained. Had um, family over. Got family over again today later. Um, and... Um, they didn't suggest going for a walk because it was raining, much to my husband's delight. He's okay with walking, he just doesn't like having to do it on a whim. He likes to plan and uh, this is terribly deep. And he had a lot of things he wanted to show them here. It was his father that visited, you see. I'm doing a bit more of the jade colour on the wings. Can I just fit, tidy up the other feathers as well? Basically, when I say tidy up, I mean if I spot any white gaps, I can just colour over them a bit, or any bit that doesn't look thick enough. Um, yeah, he wanted to show him some of his art and things like that, and father-in-law was talking to us about, he wanted some help with thinking about some ideas. He's um, church warden, and um, he keeps having the lead stolen off the church roof, and he wanted some ideas. Okay. I didn't really have a very what he wants is something that you can't it's difficult because there's no consistent there's no good broadband there's no broadband in the church and there's no consistent mobile phone signal so he can't put an alarm in or a cctv camera i don't think because you need that apparently i don't really know enough about it but um he's got he was trying to work it all out 
and he'd asked various tradesmen to come and close and they'd all told him that the alarm company told him he needed an electrician the electrician told him he needed an alarm company here's the black now this bit I'm going to put a darkish layer down the side not as dark as these and then just bring it in fading it in like that so we get it's going to be a bit pale on his belly um, he also wanted a way of doing donations in the church apparently some churches have a little um, console like with a phone and stuff and you can sort of all powered up so visitors to the church can make a payment if they want to leave a donation they don't have any cash for the uh, slot back to this one which can go over the belly um, but I had I woke up at four o'clock this morning didn't go back to sleep um, our light was playing up oh, it's a long story I'm not going to bore you with the light story but anyway um, the light woke me up and um, I kept having hot flashes and couldn't go back to sleep I was too hot and too cold and too hot and uh, anyway so um, I was thinking about this um, problem and I thought maybe he could set up a QR code which linked to a PayPal chip tip jar and you could take a photo of the QR code so if you um, if there wasn't happened to not be a signal because it's intermittent then you could do it later because you'd have the photo on your phone so I'd let him know the idea but I don't know if he even knows what QR code is I'm quite happy with that being a bit paler there now we've got the tail we'll do next again I'm going back to my black I'm going to do a black layer here so uh, and I also wondered if he could put some even though he can't put CCTV cameras up at the church maybe he could put a sign up saying there are them to uh, just um, as a deterrent but I don't know but yeah he gets um, upset about this sort of thing obviously but he takes it very personally he feels like it's almost like they're stealing from him you know and he feels like you know obviously church is a you know a community building and you know to just go and steal from it yes they're insured but the insurance is so expensive because the church floods as well so their insurance is just really expensive and uh, so they don't want to have to keep claiming on it all the time and then their premiums go up as happens I'm trying to stay in the line but my pencil's too blunt <clears throat> gosh there's a lot of banging upstairs Um, I came up with a few ideas for him anyway so we'll see we'll see <laughs> not two of this bit. I might do like a outline. I was just worried then that I was out of shot. Anyway, it's lovely having him visit with his uh, companion, and uh, they seemed happy. They brought me a really pretty planter, um, sort of pot. I don't know what to call it, flower pot, but large one that had primroses and yellow and white primroses and um, here's our terra verde and some yellow and orange snapdragons and some other plants which I don't know what they were and it's really pretty it's on my back doorstep at the moment so it needs moving but I can't lift it so <laughs> got to find a volunteer to lift it for me husband will do it eventually but he was uh, he was really tired after they left and uh, wanted to do a few bits and pieces of art before um, work today but he'll he might find out a bit more today about going um, part-time um, sort of semi-retiring so that's good I also might he might get his new medication as well which might help him I'm not sure 
whether it's going to help or not. He's really wants to try it. He's really hoping it will make him feel a lot better. But, you know, I was looking at the side effects last night. It's quite scary. But it always is. And actually, he's been on various different types of medication over the years, as a lot of us have. And uh, he's never been affected by side effects. So we just have to hope that he'll be okay. I've got to pick up my son's medication today too. Right. I'm going to do this part and this part still in the black. And then this bit I think I will do a little bit differently. So I'm going to grab my ivory black and uh, go across here. Just fade down, just in the same way we've done with the rest. So just sort of gently reduce your pressure on your pencil. Put down less colour as you fade it down. And then same here, get a nice dark edge near the black line and fade it down. I think this black looks a little bit dirty. Um, black tends to. I think it'll work. And then we go back to our Terra Verde Deep and go over the top. Now I am wondering whether to put a little bit of white on to show some sharp, sort of make it look more shiny on the feathers. I think we might not need it, but I don't know. It's really hard to tell until you finish the whole thing, how it's going to uh, work out really. There we go. It looks really dark on camera. Step it towards the light, you can see a bit better. Now, I am going to grab my black, so I am going to do a few black bits up here. Um, I'm thinking this bit here on the edge of the beak, but then I'm thinking the beak is black. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that grey. Could we do a yellow beak? Hmm. Black eye. Do a black eye. First. See there's a circle here, we'll leave that white. There we go. Um, so I'm going to grab this hat bit. I'm trying to work out, remember what colour. I'm sure the beak is sort of yellow and is yellow and red, isn't it? With a black tip. Mm. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to use this black. I'm going to ignore the edge of this. Just colour right over it. I want this beak to be black here. This is the ivory black, by the way, not the... Uh, I'm going to fade it a bit towards the middle, though. I think it might... We could give it, like, a bit of a shine there. We can continue that across. And we'll put this bit in as black, very deep, intense black. We've got that bit as well. I'm going to colour over that too. I feel that this would be all black, like that. Yeah, just filling in that bit where I missed. Now, our gosh, it was a messy, squad splodgy. It's on my hand. Um, I'm thinking the head. Now, I want it really a light, a white, or a light sort of grey. So I'm going to grab what's called the dove grey because this is our sort of lightest grey and do some of these sections. Um, I think I'll just block in this bit here entirely. Um, like around the eye, trying hard not to spread the um, black out of the eye. Let's just fill this bit in. And I think here I'm going to make that quite dark and this bit quite
quite dark, where I've got these lights, and then just sort of fade it down like that, and sort of fade it up, and then leave a white bit like that. Mm. Now I'm going to do the beak, and I might come back and do a bit more. Now the beaks usually have a little bit of red or orange. I don't think I'm going to go red. It's a little bit... We haven't got a good red anyway in this set, really, in my opinion. So I think I'm just going to grab to go a marigold. I've got marigold. I'll find it. There's a marigold, which is an orange, and then the cadmium yellow. Yeah. So I'm going to do a bit of orange marigold on... So we've got this, oh, I'm trying to tip it, let's not do that, this line here. So I'm going to make it really strong here. And then just fade it a bit up. And down. Like that. And then I'm going to get the cadmium yellow and just sort of, sorry that's a bit blurred isn't it? Get, and fill it in. Now this bottom one I'm going to do quite solid. Remember we left this bit of um, shadow, we can um, shine, not shadow, that's quite different. So I'm going to put this in, it's actually, the orange is disappearing really. Now here I'm going to think, I want that there, so I'll put it darker here and start to fade it a bit. Like that, try not to with the black too much into it it's very um, smushy spready shiny I don't know what words I'm looking for but it it easily smushes into there we go and I'll get my marigold back let's put a little bit more across it where I'm sort of almost rubbed it out. I quite like quite a bit at the bottom. There we go. Now this bit is supposed to be like a shine, I think. We can draw that in with a white pen if we want to later. Okay, there's our bird. Let's come out a tad so you can see all of him. There we go. I'm going to leave those white bits, but we haven't done his feet. just noticed. I'm going to... I don't know whether they would be yellow, but I want to do them yellow, so I am. So I'm just going to block them in in yellow, not too hard yet. I think they stand out really well against the uh, the green and black, like that. I'm going to sharpen my marigold. And put a little bit at hmm, the bottom in between them and a bit behind. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Now we we might as well do the branch. Let's see how we're doing for time. We've got not too we haven't been too long. Um so I'm gonna do the branch. Um, I want a fairly mid-brown. Just having a look at my swatch chart. Hmm. Huh. We don't have... Hmm. Don't really. What's that sepia? Oh, it's very red. What's that colour? Terracotta light. No. Okay, we're going to have to go for a fairly dark um, colour by the looks of it. Is that permanent brown? Oh no, I don't like that. That's Mars Black. Okay, we're going to have to go for the Burnt Umber. It's actually much darker than I was planning, but we don't have a light brown. Oh, I've just broken up my sharpener. I think these do better in a hand crank. I'm just going to put my light on. I've just realised how dark the suns move around. Hmm. Keeps wanting to break. Hang on, I'm going to stop the video and get my dowel. Right, I am back. The sun has come out again though, but hey-ho. 
burnt umber, nice and sharpish. It's not brilliant, but I bought my dowel through anyway. And what I'm going to do is put a light layer on this branch and uh, just have a look and see how it fares, really. If it was a thicker branch, I would want to make it um, look a bit rounder by putting it darker and lighter top and bottom. I'm going to have a go, but because it's quite slim, I think it's going to be a little tricky. But I'm going to darken this bottom edge. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way along. I don't want to make it too dark because I don't want it to disappear into that black. And then do the same across this end. And then on the top, where Johanna's marked her little lines as well. Now, in the centre, I would ideally want to put a mid brown, such as a polychromos, um, a raw umber. But I'm going to have to pick something else. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the yellow ochre. It sounds a bit mad. I don't know where it is. Um, it must be here. Here it is. It's If you look, it's got quite a brownish base. Um, let's give it a sharpen. But it is sort of brownish yellowish. So I'm going to try and sort of muddle it in here and see whether we can sort of mix up a colour that looks brownish. See what happens. Who says muddle it in? That's a Jamie Oliver thing, I think. He's a chef, in case I should be sure you've heard of him. I don't know, actually, he's got, I know he's, as, he's on TV in Australia. I don't know if he does American TV very much. I think Gordon Ramsay does more American TV. Right, I'm okay with that. I could go through, go again and make it a little darker on the edges, but I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And we're going to do the leaves. Um, I feel like I want to do a sort of brownish green near the near this um, branch, and then a lighter green. So I'm having a look again at my. I've actually got my swatch chart right here. Um, I'm going to grab the Oxide of Chrome um, Oh here it is, look at that lovely Oxide of Chrome and do the, the base of the leaves and then sort of fade it I just, when I went next door to sharpen my pens, I was talking to my boys. One of them was just looking at his his YouTube channel. He has got a video which is um, about 30 seconds long. Um, he had a world record attempt in within a game. And um, I think he did it at the time. Now he's not the record holder anymore. Uh, and basically killing the big enemy in a very short amount of time, six seconds or something, and he's had 21,000 views on this video, and he just thinks it's bonkers, it's like such a boring video, why are people <laughs> watching it? Um, I'm going to go with the Cadmium Green Pale, it's actually a very pretty um, olive type, light olivey green, and I think I'm going to make it quite dark on the tip, and then just sort of smush it into this darker colour. It's such a pretty colour, I think, anyway. There we go. The, um, it's quite similar to the um, permanent green. It's, permanent green is a little bit darker. And, oh, excuse me, the leaf green light is a bit lighter. I think I've done a swatch chart for these pencils because um, the order on the swatch chart in the tin that I had was absolutely rubbish. So it starts with white and then moves to yellow, which all makes sense. But then at the end of the yellow is the purple. 
and then it goes to sort of pinky purples and pinks and blues and then you've got a red and then you've got on a few more reds and then it goes back to pinks and then you've got a few greens and then you've got some greys and a white it doesn't start with white, I'm lying it starts with cream and then you've got um, yellow and then peach and it's just like all over the place and I'm like, what? why is it in that order? I just don't understand it's just like completely random and uh, yes, it irritated <laughs> me <laughs> right hmm, now the plants and things I'm wondering whether to just leave them and do it in another video because it feels like a good place to end um, having done Artukan and his branch See, there's, there's the sheet, look Seems to start off quite good and then go to purple and then red and then sort of some greens here some greens here there's a few greens there a few greens there greys is scattered all over the place it's like what were you thinking castle you need to employ me to do your sheet <laughs> so there he is um so far i may do some different on his face but i actually rather like it left white um the background will hopefully um, work to balance that. Not that I've decided what I'm doing, um, but we'll come back um, tomorrow and do florals and leaves and things and balance it out a little bit. It's quite dark, isn't it? Um, but uh, hopefully we can get that sorted out. And I've got an idea for the background, which I'm going to have a think about as well. Really simple really really simple so uh, we'll see but uh, for now thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your Monday and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow so uh, happy colouring